It's about owning this. Yeah. That's it. Every day is a choice. How many paces do I run at? One pace. One pace every day. I'm sick, I run at one pace. I'm broke, I run at one pace. I'm rich, I run at one pace. I got problems, I run at one pace. I wake up, I don't feel like working, I run at one pace. Just think about it, man. Is this not crazy? Absolutely. All you have to do is wake up. That's it. What do people want in life? They want the same thing you want. That's it. And what happens is a lot of times people need to see something to believe it, okay? But that's not how life works. A lot of the times you don't get to see it, right? You know what I'm saying? You physically got to freaking believe it when you can't see it, and that's how you end up getting it. And that's called self-talk, self-visualization. I told you guys yesterday, those success reels going on in your head about all the times you won, right? Right? All the times you won. And maybe even a taste of the time that you lost, mm -hmm. right? Because that'll piss you off. That runs me more harder than anything, but I remembers the times that I won. And in those times, any time that I'm needing anything, I go back and I pull that out and I say, hey, you remember when you did that? Yep, okay, cool, done. Sean, you remember when you beat somebody on the wrestling mat? Remember when you beat a fighter, right? Look, dude, you don't need to compete against anybody. All you need to do is find your best self. When you're, when you're playing in your best self, nobody can beat you. Nobody, you're unbeatable. If Andy Elliott, right? If I play my best self and I don't have any second guessing, any second guessing, any self doubt, guess what happens? I'm unbeatable. I physically can't get beat. I'll challenge any man in the world to take me on. But if I second guess myself, you could beat me. Even though I'm skilled, even though I have talent, I can be beat, right? Does anybody recognize with that? Right. Okay, so that's the world out there. They do need the skill. There's a difference between skill, work ethic, and mindset. Mindset is number one. I think mindset's number one over everything, okay? If I was to give you a three-step system to how you guys can be millionaires overnight and so can everybody else in this world, it'd be really simple. It'd be number one, mindset. You gotta have the mind to believe that you deserve it, okay? You don't get what you deserve, you get what you work for, but if you don't believe you deserve it, you're never gonna have it, okay? So number one, you gotta believe that my life, Conor McGregor said when he was younger, he was working. I saw his first video when they, they interviewed him. He was a little baby-faced kid, and he says, I will be in the UFC, and I will be beating everybody, and I'm gonna have both belts. And they recorded this way before he ever did it. And guess what? Then they showed it later on when he did it. That's how life works. Today we're calling out and like it's manifestation of what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the number one sales training company in the entire world. In the world, not US, in the world. Elon Musk said there's enough evidence and proof that he believed that Tesla and SpaceX could be successful because he's seen other things happen, that he bet his whole life on it. And even when it went down to the ticker where they were out of money and they're within the last week of going fucking bankrupt and like company's done, he shut down and the last 10 years of his life was completely wasted. He said, we're not stopping. They're gonna have to kick us out. And guess what happened? Flipped it up. All in the mind. They had created enough momentum. It just didn't kick in yet. Some of you guys right now have been working your ass off Johnny, been working your fucking ass off and you've been waiting for a big break. It's kind of like mining, right? So they go through and these miners would just pick at these rocks all day long and try to get to gold, right? And dude, sometimes it's like, there could have been one more swing of that ax pick and they could have busted a nugget of gold that changed their whole fucking life. But what happened is they didn't swing again because they got tired and they felt like they gave out and that this wasn't what they wanted. Their mind got in the way and they backed out. Another guy walks up and his first swing, he's like, crack, oh shit. I just got out of the gold. And that other guy did all the work. And if you guys don't get it together right now and understand what's going on, guess what? You'll just always be running around following people. You guys are not followers, you're leaders. All of you guys are leaders. I was watching that deal. I don't know if anybody watched that Michael Chandler guy, whatever it is I sent you. But guess what? He was like the twins. Came in, bad ass, walked on, kicked everybody's ass. Everybody was talking about how amazing they were gonna be. And then guess what happened? Boom, went 388 days without a win. Then the media starts saying, hey man, made a mistake about this guy. This guy's soft. This guy's a joke. We didn't realize this guy didn't have it. He tricked everybody. And this guy had to listen to that. Imagine what the media is like when you're on a level like that. Dude, they tortured him, put him through hell. And you know what he did? He stayed at it. He kept losing fights and he stayed at it. 
And guess what happened? He got a fight and he had to go out there and he already visually envisioned fighting that guy a million times in his, in his head. He went out there and f***ing knocked him out in the first round. The guy was ready for vengeance. He was sick of it. There's got to be a time where you guys are ready for vengeance and you're sick of it. And that time in my life is right now. And I'm telling you, I'm knocking people out in the first round. Yes, sir. That's it. And I want you guys to do the same thing. But if we get beat, it will be a fight and we'll lose. But we didn't lose the war. We just lost the battle. Right. Nobody wins every fucking battle. Do you guys understand that? Yes, sir. Everybody loses a battle, so it's no big deal. Guys, do I fear rejection? No. Do I take rejection personally? No, I get better every day. If you get better every day, it doesn't bother you. As long as you're getting better, that's all that matters, am I right? So my question is, Johnny, are you getting better every day? Oh, yeah. If you're getting better every day, then notice that it will come around. And then what happened is he looked in the mirror and saw himself and said, hey, you know what? There's no going back. Like there's no going back. And once you burn the boat, there's a real like a, a real deal. It's called burning the boats. But we we talk about it, but we don't understand what it really means. So this is an island where you work right now. And you came here on a boat and you're either going to keep that boat out there and say, if this doesn't work one day, I might do this. Or you're really going to light your boat with gasoline and you're going to watch it burn to ashes in the water. And you'll know that you're stuck on that island for the rest of your life. Until that happens, that island doesn't operate. One, two, three, three. three.